I'm looking at a very interesting item in the record business today, uh, a 12-inch single. Isn't that something? This is a, a new innovation, which I don't think personally will be around too long because it'll be confused with the more expensive albums that are selling. But I'm, I'm only trying to bring out a point because this is a hit capital album made by Gloria Jones, who is a multi-talented young lady. And I'd like you to warmly welcome her to our stage on the Music Hall Theater on Steel Pier. Miss Gloria Jones is here. <laughs> Gloria, welcome to Atlantic City. Thank you. You can use your mic and oh, I'll does use it work? mine. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, we spare no expense One. around here. We have <laughs> mics we haven't even dropped into the ocean yet. Oh, is that it? Okay. Anyhow, uh, you, you've uh, led an interesting career. Yes, I've been a songwriter for the past 10 years and also a record producer. And now I'm an artist. Well, uh, with all of that, uh, what do you prefer? Money. <laughs> you got a point there, huh? That's That's the only way. <laughs> Now, I understand you lived in England for five years. Yes, I was recording, well, I still am recording for EMI Records there uh, throughout Europe. And I lived in Monte Carlo, which was very nice. In fact, this reminds me a lot of south of France. You lived in Monte Carlo? Yes. That's pretty tough to take. Oh, I love Monaco. Yeah, mm. well, there's a little Philadelphia girl that hasn't done too badly living in one of those palaces over there, oh, too. Oh, yes, that's right, the princes. Yeah. Well, what do you really call your home? Los Angeles, mm -hmm. California. Uh, what did you find interesting about living in England for those uh, years? Well, uh, they have a northern club uh, which imports soul music. And like I'm the queen of disco there in Wigan. And so it was like really fascinating to go over and find out that they knew about me. Well, I don't think you've done too badly here for the moment. Oh, thank you. But you've, you've cut some very good stuff with some very good artists. Would you like to list some of your credits? I don't, you know, I, you can be modest, but... Well, my first one was a uh, Grammy nomination for If I Were Your Woman, the Gladys Knight and the Pips recorded. Thank you. And uh, My Mistake by Diana Ross and Marvin Gaye. Oh, yeah. 2468, the Jackson 5. Oh, I remember that. We played that like mad down here. Yeah, just a Gee, few. that's wonderful. But now you're a full-fledged artist? Oh, yeah, I love it. A hit maker in your own. Thank you. How about Thank if we, uh, would you favor us by performing Bring on the Love? Oh, please. How about that? Would you like to hear that? Mm. All right, here she is on Capitol, right on this very stage. <laughs> Gloria Jones, Bring on the Love. Thank you, Ed.
Oh, Gloria, that's terrific. Thank you. Everybody loved it. Very, very nice. And we want to wish you all the luck in the world. Thank you very much. Now, if you'd like to stay around and dance as our troops begin coming up, I want to introduce a record from uh, the Buddy Holly story. I don't know whether you've seen that flick or no, not I yet, haven't. but it's a goodie. Oh, great. And uh, Gary Busey, who is the star, is going to sing an old Buddy Holly tune. Fantastic.